You make me laugh a lot. There's a ton of hurry up and wait on set, which means downtime for the actors. A new best friend is just the thing to pass the time. Three, two, one, Millie. Nice. Let's check out who met their BFFs while shooting. You. Me. Yes. <laughs> Number one, the real life relationship between Iman and Yasmin is comparable to Miss Marvel's Kamala and Nakia's. At least, so says Yasmin. God, I love that girl. It's just heartwarming the way they poke at each other but are there for each other no matter when they need it or what they need to talk about. It's just a true, authentic female teenage friendship. Yasmin also loves that their friendship in the show isn't overdramatized or catty either. I couldn't imagine being the Nokia to anyone else's Kamala. Number two, from random dance parties to balloon war pranks, Noah Schnapp and Millie Bobby Brown are the best of friends. So good of friends, they've even made a marriage pact. We said if we're not married by 40, 40. we will get married together because we'd be good roomies. Yeah, just roomies. And separate bedrooms for sure. My God, you're so messy. Despite not actually having a lot of on-screen time together on Stranger Things until season four, the pair bonded very early into filming and have grown up together. Number three, don't ghost the bros. I really do genuinely love working with Anthony. I mean, like, his presence, you know. Sebastian Stan and Anthony Mackie first became friends on the set of Captain America, The Winter Soldier, but they really solidified that friendship on the press tour. There was a fake feud of brewing, thanks to Mackie not responding to a text about Stan's Christmas tree. We're, we're taking a break. Stan clarified, though, saying, You have to understand, I love him. That's that's the real problem. Like, <laughs> like I, I love him. Like, I actually miss him. Ugh, heartbreaking. Number four, Zendaya makes friends wherever she goes. It's no wonder she's the kind of person we all dream of being. Talented, funny, smart, ambitious, kind, fashionable. We could go on. So she's going to come up a couple of times today. But first, we're focusing on Euphoria. It's okay to have a few BFFs when you're traveling all over to work. You need it to keep you sane. Zendaya and Hunter Schaefer have been seen out in public at award shows. No surprise there. But also, hockey games. They have a ridiculous nickname for each other, Boob. We can't say we know the reason behind the nickname, but it's, um, charming. In the first season, Hunter endearingly said, Z was my main scene partner for most of this season, and I just feel so lucky to come out of this experience with a new best friend. Number five, The Rock and The Heart met on the set of Central Intelligence and have the best bromance. You know how sometimes when people get under your skin and you just hate them? Sometimes. Friendships look a lot like feuding. So is the case with Dwayne Johnson and Kevin Hart, who have done at least half a dozen big blockbuster movies together. You think everyone's like, hey, there's Kevin, Sorry. great, but you know. Number six. Shailene Woodley and Miles Teller have been friends ever since they starred in The Spectacular Now, carrying that friendship onto Divergent and beyond. They even went on vacation together in Hawaii with their significant others of the time back in 2021. Woodley was overly gushy with Teller on Instagram over Top Gun Maverick, saying, proud sister moment happening over here, bravo. Number seven, before there was Euphoria, there was Spider-Man. Tom Holland, Zendaya, and Jacob Adelon became an inseparable trio. We're just best friends. We really are best friends. When you spend so much time together on set and then more time together while you're promoting the movie, you get a chance to really know each other. From the moment we met each other, we all really hit it off. I remember on Spider-Man 1 just becoming like the best of friends. Here's hoping Jacob never felt like a third wheel around Tom and Zendaya. Number eight, Scarlett Johansson and Chris Evans have done a lot together. When you invest so much of your time with the same people, you'd really hope you'd make a friend or two. Scarlett Johansson said, it's really a result of 10 years of knowing somebody and being able to have a kind of intimacy with them that I think you get from just spending a lot of time with somebody and knowing their soft underbelly. Number nine, both Cobra Kai actors have very similar backgrounds after starring in the hit series, The Karate Kid. This has bonded them. William Zabka said, we're both from New York. I was actually born in the city and lived in Long Island till I was a kid. He's from Long Island. We'll drive home. We'll have the same complaints, the same thoughts, you know. So we drive, you know, we get lost together, crank the music together. 
Number 10. Cobra Kai co-stars Jacob Bertrand and Sholo Maradueña do tons of fun stuff together off-screen. Like off-roading, karate training, and getting dinner. Bertrand calls Maradueña Sholito and has at least once also called him the sassiest goober alive. Sholo just can't wait to be 70 years old when they live together in Laguna with their wives and their magic cards. Sholo posted for Jacob's birthday, I'm so proud to call you my friend and so excited for all the world we have yet to explore together. You're still asleep right now in the other room, but I promise to wake you up with 21 sweet punches to the giblets. Yikes. If we were Jacob, we would officially dread our birthday every year. Number 11. Lifelong friends since childhood. Being the same age, Leonardo DiCaprio and Tobey Maguire ran into each other at a lot of auditions. Leo spotted Toby on the street and jumped out of his mom's car saying, I was like, Toby, Toby, hey, hey. And he was like, oh yeah, I know you, you're that guy. But I just made him my pal. When I want someone to be my friend, I just make them my friend. They were part of a thespian troupe with a notorious name. They worked together on several films, including This Boy's Life, another film they'd only agreed was supposed to be a short called Dawn's Plum that they stopped from being released in America for its treatment of women, and of course, The Great Gap. Gatsby. Despite their slightly different lifestyles, the two have remained good friends. Number 12. In our memories, Sansa and Arya had a bigger age gap than they actually did. However, not the case, and definitely not the case for Maisie Williams and Sophie Turner, who, only one year apart in age, formed a great bond, considering each other like family thanks to their growing up together on set. They got matching tattoos and everything. Of the day they got their roles on Game of Thrones, 07, 08, 09. A pretty great date, too. That was the best. I don't know that I've ever had a day as good as that. No, I agree. That was our best friend day ever. Yeah. Number 13. Dylan O'Brien and Tyler Posey first met when they did a screen test for Teen Wolf. They're such good friends, they even agreed to be each other's best man at their weddings. Sadly, Dylan O'Brien won't be returning for the Teen Wolf movie. It was kind of thrown at him last minute, and it just didn't work with his schedule. But he will be in the audience on opening night. Number 14. Chris Hemsworth and Tom Hiddleston met at Kenneth Branagh's house after being cast in the MCU. Obviously, Tom didn't hold it against Chris that he got the role of Thor over him. It just made more sense that way. Hiddleston said, I made a very fast and firm friendship with him because we were playing brothers in this enormous thing and it felt like we were brothers by the end in some way. I love you, man. I love you. <laughs> Number 15. Demi Lovato and Selena Gomez were friends ever since they were in Barney together. Then, they both became Disney stars and did Princess Protection Program together, and even had a shared YouTube channel. But over the years, they've drifted apart. Life happens, and that's okay. And this is my best friend in the entire world. This um, is my Selena. best friend. Friendships. They come and they go. Some are for life, and some are just for a short time. We all love each other like family, but to be here with them is incredible. When you're an actor who travels all over the country, or all over the world, it must be hard to keep in contact. What would you do for your best friend? Let us know in the comments, and thanks for hanging out with us here at The Things.